One thing that really makes me uncomfortable is like really large bodies of water like the ocean. And in this movie, people will willingly dive into the deepest depths of the ocean. Like, what's up with that? The Meg is a movie about the Megalodon, which is a prehistoric 200 million year old dinosaur shark that's supposed to be extinct, but somehow survived because Mother Nature did her Harry Potter thing. Now in this movie, this billionaire teams up with these marine biologists and they build this state-of-the-art um, offshore lab type deal. I don't even know the proper term for it. And they build this with beliefs that the Mariana Trench isn't the deepest part of the ocean. And what they find out is that they're right. There's this thick layer of some kind of like frozen gas that looks like the ocean floor, but they build these uh, submarines and all this equipment that's willing to withstand these depths. And they punch through and find a whole nother ecosystem that is virtually unknown to man. Through the process of doing this, they kind of mess up the balance of the ecosystem and they discover that the Megalodon still exists. And upon escaping, they end up punching a hole in this gas that allows just enough space, of course, for the Megalodon to get through and now you have your movie. First off, the Megalodon is massive. Now, I don't know if this movie exaggerated like movies do with most things, but I mean, this shark was huge. They said he was like 90 feet and Bro, when they showed him, like in scenes with the people, if that's like the actual size of how he was versus us, I think the heavens that Megalodons are dead. Like I said in the beginning, I don't like large bodies of water anyway, so I think even if the Megalodon was around, I would still be okay unless he learned how to come up on land because I wouldn't be out there, especially if somebody told me that those things were around because I mean, this dude was attacking boats, he was attacking other sharks, he like just bit a whale in half, just uh, whale just split in half. I was like, oh man. That's crazy. Now the main character in this movie is Jason Statham. Jason Statham always plays the same role. He's this smooth, suave, uh, badass dude basically and he is that in this movie. Now how do you make a marine biologist and a deep sea rescue diver a badass? I don't know but the Meg pulled it off because in this movie Jason Statham was he was a superhero, basically. Now, with that being said, I enjoyed his performance, but one of the things about movies like this, sometimes they stretch it too far, because Jason Statham's character should have died five, six times easy, but he always figured a way out. And I was thinking, like, what's your background? Well, like, you're a submarine operator, but you're also a total badass. Like, how, how did those two things mingle? Of course, there's a lot of other casts in this movie, but honestly, I don't even think they're worth mentioning. I mean, um, you have the head biologist who's this Asian dude, and then his daughter who plays a pretty pivotal role because she's trying to live up to her dad's expectations. And her and Jason Statham kind of got this little awkward connection going on. But for the sake of the movie, like, all you need to know is Jason Statham because Jason Statham did everything. The pacing of the movie was great. I mean, like I said, it's about a dinosaur shark, basically. And every time they hit the water, this guy showed up. So um, it was action throughout the movie. Something was always happening. It was very entertaining. And with that being said, the visuals in this movie were pretty good. I say pretty good because I mean like the shark was huge, aggressive looking, it was mean, he did a lot of killing, but there were a couple times in the movie like once the, uh, like they showed in the preview, when the shark swims up to the beach and all the people are there, they show a couple of underwater scenes where you could tell it's totally CGI. So um, the visuals were for the most part good. Even though I didn't mention the other actors in this movie, that don't mean that they did a bad job. I think the supporting cast did just fine. Um, it wasn't a whole bunch of like really serious acting going on in here for that part, but I mean, they did well. So there's one supporting cast member I really didn't care for, and that was played by Paige Kennedy. And the reason I say that is because they tried to make him the funny black guy, like if you've seen um, Get Out, the character that Lil Rel, Lil Rel Lowry played or like how Kevin Hart plays the funny guy in all his movies they tried to do this with Paige and I felt like some of his jokes were forced and like he was trying to be funny um and it did, just didn't come off natural I just didn't I wasn't feeling it everybody else they did fine so to bring everything back around, The Meg was a very exciting movie um it had a whole bunch of action some fairly good visuals um pretty good acting and I'm a huge fan of Jason Statham and he was totally badass in this movie and to me it felt like our generation's Jaws because Jaws was like the thing for forever like it made everybody scared of water and I think The Meg is going for that same feel. So with all that being said I would definitely say The Meg is worth a midday matinee. So that's it for this one, folks. So for the comment combo today I want you to tell me which movie do you like better if you're old enough to have seen Jaws or The Meg. Which one would you be more terrified? I think that's an easy question because the Meg, like I said, was tearing down boats. But 
It's up for debate. Whatever you think, comment below and let me know. Now, as always, if you like this video and you thought it rocked, like, comment, and subscribe to see more from me, Mike Brock. Later.